हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज महनूर अली एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल लर्न विद ईज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ लिम्फ फ्रॉम द ब्रेस्ट बट व्हाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न अबाउट द डायरेक्शन इन व्हिच द लिम्फ फ्लोस फ्रॉम द ब्रेस्ट इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन ऑर्डर टू नो अबाउट द साइट्स वेयर द मेटास्टासिस ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट ट्यूमर कैन अकर The axillary lymph nodes have been categorized into three levels by the Berg's axillary lymph node categorization. The level one group of lymph nodes lie lateral to the lower border of the pectoralis minor muscle, and include the anterior, posterior, and lateral group of axillary lymph nodes. The level two group of lymph nodes lie deep to the pectoralis minor muscle and include the central group of axillary lymph nodes. The level 3 group of lymph nodes lie medial to the upper border of the pectoralis minor muscle and include the apical group of axillary lymph nodes. Now coming to the level 1 group of lymph nodes the level 1 group of lymph nodes include the anterior posterior and lateral group of axillary lymph nodes. Amongst these three group of lymph nodes the anterior and posterior group of axillary lymph nodes drain the lymph from the breast. Whereas The lateral group of axillary lymph nodes drain the lymph from the upper limb. Therefore, the lymph from the upper limb and the breast region is drained into the level one group of lymph nodes, which include the anterior, posterior, and lateral group of axillary lymph nodes. The lymph from the level one is then drained into the level two group of lymph nodes, which include the central group of axillary lymph nodes. from the level 2 group of lymph nodes it is drained into the lymph nodes which come under the level 3 which are the apical group of axillary lymph nodes therefore the lymph from breast and upper limb is drained into the level 1 from the level 1 group of lymph nodes it is drained into the level 2 group of lymph nodes from the level 2 group of lymph nodes it is drained into the level 3 from the level 3 it is drained into the left lymphatic subclavian trunk on the left side and the right lymphatic subclavian trunk on the right side from the left lymphatic subclavian trunk the lymph is then drained into the thoracic duct on the left side and from the right lymphatic subclavian trunk the lymph is drained into the right lymphatic duct on the right side from the thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct the lymph is then ultimately drained into the left and right venous angle respectively what do you mean by the venous angle the venous angle is the junction of the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein now we will learn about the direction of flow of lymph with the help of a diagram in the next video thank you so much and have a very nice day and also Please don't forget to like my videos, share my videos and subscribe to my channel. Have a very nice day. Thank you so much.